Look, in the sky, it's a bird. Ugh, don't be stupid, that's a plane. No, it's an LPS. <laughs> hey, look guys, 20 bucks. Hello, boys. Oh, I didn't know it was Halloween. <laughs> yeah, Pipsqueak, what are you gonna do, have a hairball on us? Yeah, super loser. <laughs> All right, we could either do this the easy way or the hard way. Oh, ho, ho. you better hope you don't break a nail, girly. Yeah, what do you want? Violet's purse is what I want, and I know you guys have it. Oh, yeah. Well, you ain't getting it. <gasps> <laughs> You don't want to do that. Why? Aren't you scared, bird? Don't you mean chicken? Yeah, yeah, I mean chicken. All right, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Whoa, <gasps> holy crap. Come here. hi ya! Uh. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Hello there. Uh, don't hurt me. I surrender. Give me the bag. Uh, huh? That's the justice way. Oh, wow, I didn't know people were watching. Hey, that's my purse. Thank you so much for getting my purse back. I thought I would never see it again. Who are you? I'm the, I mean, I miss justice. Wow. But you look an awful lot like someone I know. Have we met before? Some say I look like Kitty Purry, but it's possible. <laughs> well, thanks again. You're a hero! Hey, what's going on over there? Let's go check it out, guys. Hey, look, it's the OPS News! Huh? Hey y'all, do you mind if we broadcast this on the LPS News? Oh, not at all. Great, thanks. Boys, come on. I'm standing here live near the LPS Blue High School where this wonderful hero saved this girl's bag. What is y'all name? Um, Miss Justice. Outstanding. How did you know that this girl's bag was being taken away? Oh, I, I can sense when trouble's going on. Well, there you have it, folks. We actually have a real hero in LPS field. I'm Rich Cornell, and that was your daily news. Bye, everyone. Hey, where's Lola? We have to go tell her. All right, come on. Lola. Look, Violet got her bag back. Oh, really? That's great. How did you get it back? Well, you're probably not going to believe this, but I got it back by a superhero. Um, a superhero? Yeah, her name was Miss Justice, and she beat up the boys who stole my purse. And look, I got it back. How do I know you didn't just get that back yourself? Uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I saw most of it out the bathroom window. What happened to the boys? They got arrested. I can't believe you missed it. It was amazing. You know? I can't believe it either. You were amazing, Lola. I didn't know you had some moves. You were all like, hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know either. I felt so brave, and normally I'm scared to stick up for myself. Maybe becoming a superhero is doing some good for me. You never know. Are you still going to talk to Dad tonight about me becoming one? Maybe I could be your sidekick. I won't forget. Thomas. Thanks. And I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I feel really bad about what I said. Do you forgive me? I should have said this earlier. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Dinner's ready, girls. Oh, should we tell Mom yet? I'm sure she'll find out sooner or later. Well, okay. Let's go tell her. Yes. Hey, Mom. Yes, Paige? Lola has a big surprise. Well, what is it? Did you watch the LPS news today? Yes, I did. Why? Well, did you watch the story about the superhero in LPSville who saved some girl's bag? 
Miss Justice? Yes, I've heard of her. Yeah, well... I'm Miss Justice. What? I'm Miss Justice. Look. See? How could this be possible? Dad. Dad? What about him? Should I tell her the whole story? Yeah. Okay. I went into his lab not so long ago, and I tripped and fell onto one of his potions. Then I started having some weird symptoms, like, remember when I felt dizzy and I had that weird dream? That was part of it. Then at school, time froze, and Dad transported me to his lab, and he told me that I was a superhero, like, from the comic books. He showed me some of my powers, and he gave me this necklace that can help me change from Lola to Miss Justice. I came up with the name. But Dad's in South America. He transported himself to his lab to see me, and that's what he's going to do tonight so we can practice my superpowers. I... I don't believe this. I told him not to, and he promised. Um, what? Well, when me and your father got married, before you two were born, he told me that he had made a potion that could make anyone have the powers of a superhero, and if we ever had kids, he wanted to try it on our baby, because it didn't work on adults at the time. I thought it sounded abusive, and what would happen if there was a malfunction? I told him that I wouldn't allow it, and he said okay, and he promised that he wouldn't use it, but I guess he's been saving it for something, and ugh, it feels like I barely know him anymore. No, Mom, it was an accident. He didn't tell me to use it. I fell on it, and the vial it was in broke, and it got on my skin. I'm a witness. Well, then he should have been keeping it in a place out of reach. Mom, are you saying that... I have to get rid of my powers? I don't know. I just don't like the feeling of my child going out and fighting crime. You have to be very careful, Lola. Life in the comic books is different. I know that, Mom. Really. I need to think about this. All right? Jeez, what's wrong with her? I don't know. Well, let's eat, shall we? Fine. So, when does Dad usually show up? Right about now, but I think he only comes here when I'm alone. Oh, okay. Good night. Don't forget. <laughs> I won't. Good night. Lola. Dad? Hey, Dad. Hi. How did your first mission go? It was great. I got my friend's bag back, and the boys got taken away by the police. Great job, darling. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Um, I have a few questions. Well, what are they? I told Paige about my superpowers, and she says that she really wants to become my sidekick. Do you think you can make a potion for her? Sorry, but I can't. I can't find the paper with the formula on it for that potion. It's like it disappeared into thin air. Oh. Well, that's okay. I'll tell her that you said that. Alright, what's your other question? Well, I also told Mom about me being Miss Justice, but for some reason she's like mad at me or something. I just thought she would be proud of me. Do you know why? Mary thinks that all of those stories about superpowers and people who have the ability to do things others can't are supposed to be make-believe. She doesn't want all of those stories about superheroes to become real. You know what I mean? She's... Afraid? Yes. She's afraid of her dreams and stories that she's read to become a reality. So, she's... Afraid of me? I'm... Not sure. Oh. Well, I have one more question. Can I tell Violet and Bijou about my superpowers? Your friends? Do you trust them? Of course I do. Then yes. But you are not allowed to tell anyone else. Okay. I think that's all the questions I have. Let's get started. Lola. Lola. Lola, are you awake? Mm hmm. Well, I am now. What do you want? Well, uh, first, I just wanted to know, do you think that shirt looks good on me? Um... Never mind about the freaking shirt. What did Dad say? He said he couldn't do it because he didn't know where the formula was or something. I don't know. 
Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm really tired from practicing. Ugh, night. <laughs> it's not fair. How come Lola gets everything that's cool and I don't? I'm always last for everything. Maybe I can find that formula myself. Yes. Maybe he keeps them in his computer. Huh? What's this? An email from two days ago. That's when Dad disappeared. Dear James C., it's me. You still haven't shown me your new invention. Please come visit me in South America and bring your invention, whether it's finished or not. You know where I am. Sincerely, D.S. D.S. Who's D.S.? D.S. 666 at LPS.com? Strange. I hope Daz isn't in trouble or something. You've ah! got mail. A new email? Hello, Paige. Okay, this has got to be a dream. Who is this DS guy and how does he know my name? And know that I'm on the computer? I guess I'll ask him. You've ah! got mail. <sighs> Gotta stop doing that. I know a lot of things, Paige, but I need your help. Your father isn't acting himself anymore. Hmm. You've got mail. He just isn't acting like the guy we used to know. We think he's going mad. Will you help us? Maybe you and your sister Lola can help? Ugh. Why did he have to mention my spoiled sister? I'll just tell him that she's busy with other things. You've got mail. Well, we have your father's formula for his superpowers potion. If we transport the potion to you, will you take it? We have the feeling that you will need it to help us. He wants me to have superpowers? So Lola lied. Dad does have the formula. How could she? I'm so sick of her. Maybe she's been lying about Dad transporting himself here too. That's it. You've got mail. Perfect. We have made a few changes to the potion, so you won't have symptoms like dizziness. Once you drink it, you will have superpowers and will be transported here to help us. Thank you for doing this, Paige. We really appreciate it. Oh, there it is. Wait, what am I doing? Mom and Lola will miss me. Ugh, don't be stupid, Paige. While Lola's off saving the world, you can be doing something better. Saving your own father. Guess I'll leave a note for them though. All right, here goes nothing. She's probably been awake for two hours doing her hair. <laughs> Paige? Maybe she's downstairs already. Did Paige come down here? No, actually, I haven't seen her. Is she in her room? No, she isn't. Hmm, that's weird. Is she in Dad's lab? I'll go look. Hmm, the light was turned on. Paige, are you down here? this? Dear Lola and Mom, I'll be back soon, love, Paige. I'll be back soon? What does that mean? Mom, look. Paige left a note for us. It says she'll be back soon. That's weird. It doesn't even say where she's going. I hope she's alright. What should we do? 
Well, on the news she said that you could sense when trouble was going on. Can you sense where she is? Well, I just said that so it seemed like that Violet didn't tell me where her bags were. Oh, then let's try calling her cell phone. She doesn't go anywhere without it. Huh, <laughs> ain't that the truth. Hello? Paige? Where are you? Paige? Paige? She hung up on me. What? Paige would never do that. Unless... What? Unless what? Last night, she told me to ask Dad if she could become my sidekick. And then Dad showed up, and I asked him about it, and he said he didn't have the formula for the potion. When he left, I told Paige, and she seemed really angry about it. Maybe so angry that she ran away. Oh no, I'm going to call the police. Wait, she can't stay mad at me forever. I have a feeling that she's going to come back when Dad comes. Okay, if you say so. But if she doesn't come back by tomorrow, I'll call them to look for her. Ugh, first Dad, now Paige. What's next? You? Me? I hope not.